in no way is this meant to be disrespectful to trans people, but we had that ONS census data for 2021 uh, published at the end of last week showing actually comparable to what a Stonewall had claimed, there are about 300 fewer trans people in the country than they had they had claimed there were. It's about, isn't it, about uh, 250,000 people claim that they are living as a gender different from the sex they were actually born. Um, uh, but they seem to be constantly be in the news, and I'm not shyly sure that's a good thing for, for many of the people who, who do have gender dysphoria, to be constantly in, in the news. Um, let me talk to you about one particular issue. We saw um, uh, just before Christmas a uh, vote in the uh, uh, the, the big fuss about the vote in Scottish Parliament about allowing trans people to self-ID. Basically, any man can just say, oh, um, after a couple of weeks, I'm actually a woman and I want to be recognised legally as a woman. But it was made clear yesterday by the UK government that that gender ID is not going to be recognised once you cross into England. We have the bizarre situation of someone can legally be recognised as a woman or a man, whichever they want to be recognised as, uh, literally, uh, uh, and one yard over the line, they're going to be legally recognised as the opposite. How on earth does that work? No one knows, and I don't think it's as quite as clear as you've said, Julia, and, and that's not really clear at all. Um, so at the moment, the government, the UK, uh, gives gender recognition certificates to people where they've got a diagnosis and where they've shown some evidence of having transitioned over the course of two years. Scotland want to give the same thing, a gender recognition certificate, to people who've uh, lived in their gender for three months and have no diagnosis and no medical treatment. Mm. Um, and the UK government's go. I think they're going to have to take the Scottish Parliament, take this to court, take this bill yeah. to court, because um, it's going to create chaos. Uh, it's not just self-ID. What it means is that if somebody, if you know that somebody has a GRC because... G um, a gender recognition them, certificate. A gen sorry, a gender mm -hmm. recognition certificate because you work with them or because you provide a service to them and you, you, know, you have people's data, it becomes a criminal act to disclose the fact of what that person's actual sex is. Even if it's really obvious and everyone can see what their sex is, it's you could have a five thousand pound fine and a criminal uh, prosecution for uh -huh. revealing their sex. That gets people in very difficult situations. Also, it raises the issue of, you know, where someone, if someone committed a crime, and I'm no way saying trans people are going to commit crimes, I'm not making that, but in the instance someone committing a crime, are they at that point legally uh, recognised as being uh, male gender or, or male man or a woman? I mean, look, you are what, what you're born is what you are for your whole life in terms of your, your sex, but, but that creates whole, a whole raft of other issues. Well, yes, prisons, uh, you know, the, the in the UK, if somebody has a gender recognition certificate, the initial allocation is to the to the uh, prison of the sex that's written on the piece of paper, not based on their biology. And then they say, well, we can do a risk assessment and, and you know, we'll, we'll keep everybody safe. Yeah. But they're doing the risk assessment, assuming that this person is female, even though they everybody can see that they're male. Yeah. But because the piece of paper says female, they have to apply a risk assessment that's based on female data. And yeah. we know, you know, it's men that commit sex crimes. It's not women. Yeah. And we're going to see this bizarre thing in a sort of 30 years, 50 years time, where there's going to be all these, uh, you know, basically people doing their doctorates, their PhDs on, how, how on earth, why was there this bizarre blip in the number of women committing violent and sex crimes uh, around the, uh, uh, they around the 2020, we know, 2020, what, what happened around then that suddenly all these women started committing rape and things like that? Yes, and, and what happened to women's sports? <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I mean, all of, all of these things that we have in law to recognise that there is a difference between men and women and it matters in you know in some situations it matters, it matters oh, in some in situations prisons. it doesn't matter exactly. it's, it's irrelevant it doesn't matter in terms of your your pay or your ability to fly a plane or to look after children and things like and again that's the whole point isn't it in your organization sex matters you know where sex matters it needs to matter like in a changing room in a toilet in a prison in a women's refuge in a, in, in in these things where it does matter it is and, and and really it does matter i mean it does matter on your birth certificate i mean well it's a fact it's a fact and to change this documented record of something that happened you know that something you can't change it has ripple effects all throughout yeah. society and uk government has said 
they don't want to do self ID. They said it in 2020, they said it in 2021, mm. and now Scotland is. Well, the UK government was going to do it until the backlash, until a lot of people were, you know, organised against it, and, and, and you and I were among those. Um, what does it matter in, um, when it comes to uh, awards ceremonies? We've got the Golden Globes on overnight. Who knows how many celebs will turn up to that? There were usual kerfuffles over diversity in the, like, uh, the last couple of years. Uh, but Sir Sam Mendes, uh, one of our top directors, uh, he's talking about uh, male and female film awards are basically on the way out we've got the oscars coming up in a few weeks as well and that we'll just have you know basically you know gender free awards so it won't be best actor or best actress it will be best act you know best person acting or whatever um do we need to have those separate categories does that matter i mean frankly i couldn't care about actors awards anyway whether it's an actor or an actress i mean i really couldn't care less but but does it matter that there should be awards for men and women we don't have best female director and best male director no i mean you know this is it, it it's up to the people who set the awards i i think it's a shame to lose best actor and best actress um you know because women are still not equally represented uh in in hollywood but you know it it's not a question of the law requiring you to do this i think if you wanted to have a set of awards where you had best actor and best actress you should and if you want to have a set of awards that says you know best director best best actor yeah. that's male or female you know have at it it's really it, it's where it impinges on people through the law that we're concerned about indeed